Hello again, I've uh, another video now on another display. It's a raw LCD display this time. So basically there's no controller, this is just the simply the LCD. And I'm just going to show you how to control that. Um, first of all, uh, what I have connected here is ground, 5 volts, and I have another 5 volts. This will now light up a segment on the bottom. So you can see that says battery low. But this is not what you're supposed to do. And we'll see why you now in a few seconds. Um, after a while, this battery low will start to fade because we have a DC signal connected uh, to all the pins. And what we should have is actually a square wave. Now you can see it's starting to fade now. And it'll probably pretty much disappear shortly. Okay, so that's basically, you can clearly see that has faded. So we'll take away our, our DC line. Now, our, our DC 5 volts. Now what you're supposed to do is feed this, you know, feed each of these pins with around about a uh, 100 Hz and a 50% duty cycle. Now what I'm using to do that is the Arduino here. And I'll connect this signal here. Now I already have one signal going here. Uh, that is between the back plate of the LCD. So you put 100 hertz across the back plate of the LCD at 50% duty cycle, and you put 100 hertz uh, square wave signal on the pin that you want to display to show. But you have to, if you want, if you want this segment to display, you have to be 180 degrees out of phase between these two signals. If you want to turn off this seg segment, you change the phase. To so that it's zero degrees phase, so to to exactly the same signal. Now I'm going to show you uh, the signal on the analyzer. I have uh, have my uh, oscilloscope I mean, uh, hooked up here, and you can see that's still that's still very clear display there, a very clear segment. Now if we come over to the analyzer, here is the two signals, and as you can see. Well, this one is zero volts. This one is at five volts. So they are 180 degrees out of phase. And if we go down here, we are around about 100 hertz. Um, cycle. Around about 50 hertz or 50 percent duty cycle. Okay. We we'll come back here. And if I can get the camera in focus, we still have a very clear battery low symbol. So that's basically all I wanted to show you how to do it. It's very simple. I'll um, I'll just show you that this is a seven segment display. If I take our signal, move along, nice clear segments. So. There you go. Uh, this display I got out of an old uh, industrial fuel tank. Uh, it's kind of a, it measured the level and it transmitted it back to this device, which was a wireless uh, kind of wireless receiver with just this simple little display on it. And you put this in your in your office, and it just gave you a simple indication as to how full the fuel tank was. So I was able to recover this seven segment. But you can recover them from other devices like uh, I've seen them in car dashboards but they come with the I think they call it a zebra strip on the on the back instead of the nice legs. This just happened to have a uh, nice legs. Here's another one. Um, you can just see there's 2.54 millimeter pin space and it's very ideal for the breadboard actually. But uh, some of the ones you get on um, in in cars and things, they they don't have pins. They they have this. I think it's called a zebra strip. Basically, it's uh, just a, a kind of a flexible connection that goes between the the glass of the LCD and the uh, PCB, which is kind of difficult for us to control. Although you could solder into the PCB, I suppose, if you cut out the section that you needed. Um, 
that's all I have for this display. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, you know, ask them in the comment section or uh, or if you have any suggestions on other videos that you'd like to see, uh, let me know. Thanks.